So recently I posted a video on my minimal iPhone setup for 2021 and I got a ton of love from you guys. So thank you so much. I read all your messages, I read all the comments and I tried to get back to everybody as quick as I could. So thank you so much for reaching out about that video. I also got a ton of messages about the wallpaper I used and the icons I used in that video on my phone. And a lot of you guys wanted to know how to set up the widgets with the transparent or clear background. So today I'm gonna to show you how exactly to do that and how to create your own custom icons for your phone. But first, for those of you that have been here before, welcome back, it's always nice to see you. But for all of you who are new here today, welcome, welcome to my channel. I'm Alex Perry and I make videos for content creators and filmmakers on filmmaking, cinematography, tech, effects, product reviews, and productivity. So if any of that interests you whatsoever, feel free to hit that subscribe button right down there below. Trust me, there's lots more cool stuff coming your way, so you're gonna wanna stay tuned. And if you turn on notifications, you can stay in the loop of when I drop new videos, just like this one. But enough of that, let's get right to it. So first, I'm gonna show you how to set up the custom icons right here on your iPhone. Now, you'll have to have iOS 14 for this to work, so if you don't have that already, make sure you update your phone to get it on the latest version of iOS. And if you already know how to set up custom icons yourself, you can skip this part of the video and you can jump ahead to a timestamp that I show somewhere over here. Now you can use any icons that you have if you've created your own or if you have one from a different icon pack. There are a ton of awesome icon packs out there, but today I will be using my icon pack. And if you're interested in it, you can purchase it and download it at the link in the description down below. And because you guys are so awesome, if you use the promo code APYTCREW, you can save 50% off of the original price. The icons come in both black and white, and they do come with a set of wallpapers as well, so you can have lots of fun customizing your phone with this icon and wallpaper set. All right, so first things first, we're gonna jump over to our phone. We are going to open the Shortcuts app. Then we're gonna tap the plus icon right up here in the top right corner. Then we're gonna hit the Add Action button, tap on Scripting, and then tap on the Open App option. Then you can tap on Choose to choose the app that you want to open. So that's where you can go ahead and create the shortcut for one of the first apps you want to work with. So just go ahead and choose one of the apps on your list here. Then we're going to tap on the three dots or the ellipsis icon in the top right corner and go ahead and type in a shortcut name. So what you name it here doesn't really matter. It won't be displayed anywhere. We are going to be naming the app later on in the next couple of steps. Once you've typed that in, we're going to hit the add to home screen button. So now we're going to type in the name of the app as we want it to be displayed on our home screen. So you could put in the name of the app like Instagram, for example, but if you want the super minimal look, you can actually leave it blank. That's how I got the look on my home screen where it's just a bunch of icons and they don't have the app name displayed underneath it. So if yours says new shortcut one by default, you can just hit the little X there beside it and you can just leave it blank. Now you're going to want to tap the icon button beside the shortcut name and click choose photo. So if you have an icon pack already saved to your phone, they'll just be individual images that you can look at. So here you would just pick on the image that correlates with the app that you want to set here. So go ahead and choose an app icon of your choosing. Now, finally, we're going to hit add at the top right hand corner of the screen. And you should see a little pop up that says added to home screen. Now we're just going to click done, hit done again, at the top right corner, and you're good to go. So now you're going to want to repeat these steps for every icon that you want to be customized for your home screen. Now, I know this might seem tedious at first, but trust me, it really doesn't take all that long, especially if you don't have a lot of app icons that you're gonna be putting on your home screen. That's why the key here is to keep it minimal so you're not doing this for every single app that you own. So right now, you just know that the apps are starting at the top left-hand corner of the screen, just like they normally do. But don't worry, we just need to create the rest of the widgets and move things around. So I'm just gonna quickly add it to my home screen right now. We just tap and hold, hit the little plus at the top, then we're gonna go down and find flex widgets. Then we're gonna add the small one, then we're gonna tap out of that, Press and hold on that new widget we just added. Tap on edit widget. Now we're gonna to choose to select the widget that we just created. I believe it's a small widget too. And there you go. We've got the calendar added on my screen as well. All right, so once again, notice how everything is just starting at the top left-hand corner of the screen and naturally progressing across like that. So going from top to bottom. So we've got all the space in the bottom, so the middle bottom of our screen here, which we don't want. We want all these icons and the widget to be at the bottom of the screen, and we want to have empty space in the middle, and we'd also like to have the date at the top of the screen there. And that's the one we wanna have the transparent background on. So bear with me, we're getting to it, and we'll be there before you know it. So now we're gonna create the date widget. So we're gonna use an app called Flex Widgets. I believe I used a different app in my previous video, but I actually found Flex Widgets to be a little bit more easy to customize, so I went ahead and used this one now for this tutorial. So let's open up the app and set this up. And we're gonna go ahead and tap on the Create button in the bottom taskbar. Now we'll go ahead and choose Medium, and we're gonna tap on New Theme. So now we have full customization to do what we want here. So for now, we're gonna do a black background. So for the font, you can choose anything you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose Din Alternate. We're gonna leave the font color as white. So they're pretty good here right now. And we're gonna hit Save. So this is now a new theme for this. 
So once we hit back, then we can go back to the Create tab again and tap on Medium. And now we have this new theme of our set right here. So we're gonna tap on the black and white new theme. And there is our blank empty widget right now. So this is where we wanna add different elements in here for the day of the week and for the month and date. So if we scroll on down, we can find where it says calendar and date and we can choose date. Now, right now it shows just the day of the week, correct? So we can make this as big as we'd like. Then for content, we make sure it's set to weekday. Then there's different text styles. So I like to choose the second one where it makes it all capitals and we're good to go with the first part of this widget. Then we're gonna hit the X there and now we wanna add the month and the date as well. So we're gonna go down to date again drag that down and this time for content we are going to choose month hit the little x to minimize that then we're going to go back down to textile choose the all uppercase and we're going to just shrink this box right here to make it smaller so if we tap out of that you'll notice that we've got the month right there below and so you can just kind of reposition it a bit and then finally, we're gonna hit the X again, and we're gonna go back down to date, and we're gonna go to content, and we're going to choose day number. Hit the X, bring this down, and then once again, we're gonna shrink down the size of this box. Then we're just going to move it so it's up in line right beside. So you can just play around with it, get it to how you like. So for now, for the sake of this, I'm gonna say I'm happy with that. I know it's not perfect, uh, but you know, I don't wanna bore you guys with continuing to fine tune this. What's important is that we have the widget set up the way we want to, but right now it has a black background. It's not transparent. So for now, we're just gonna go ahead and save that and then we can minimize the app and we can add it to the home screen just like we did the other widget. So we can search for flex widgets again, tap that. Now we're gonna go across to the medium widget hit add widget. So you'll notice that it popped it on top of the screen there. So you wanna tap out of that, then press and hold on that widget box again, hit edit widget, and then we are going to choose our medium widget three. Yours might be named something different. If it's the only one that you've made, it might just be medium widget one. So if you have multiple options there, just pick and choose them until it's the right one. And there you go. You'll notice that we've got the date there. So we're almost there, we're getting there. We don't have a transparent background for that, and we don't have empty space in the middle, but those are the final last steps for this. Okay, so now we're gonna set up background images for those widgets. This will essentially make them seem like they're transparent, but it's actually using an image to put in the background behind it. Okay, so to do this, we're gonna use an app called Yidget. So before we open up the Yidget app, we actually need to take a screenshot of an empty version of our home screen with no app icons in it. So to do this, you're gonna just click and hold on an empty space on your home screen, and then you'll notice that the app icons start wiggling. Then from there, you're gonna swipe on over until you have a completely empty home screen. Then you're gonna take a screenshot by tapping the lock button and the up volume button at the same time. So that'll save a screenshot to your photo album. Then we can go ahead and open up Yidget and hit create. So now we're gonna to wanna to use the screenshot that we just took. So tap on that one in your photo albums. And here you have the option of trying out the small, medium, or large widgets. So then we can hit that little down arrow button on the corner right there. Then we're gonna deal with an ad. So unfortunately you have to wait for that close it, and then we're just gonna hit save on the pop-up that came up. So now we basically just created like a theme in Yidget. So we're gonna go ahead and tap on the one we just created, and then we're gonna click save cropped images. So now you can see the different sizes here. So you can basically choose whichever one you want. So I know I wanna have a background or a transparent background for the top section, which is in the medium size. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that one right there by tapping on it to select it. Then I'm gonna scroll down, and I also need the middle one because I wanna have an empty middle widget as well. So we tap on that, and we're gonna hit the down arrow button. We're gonna deal with another ad. Once that passes, then we're gonna hit save, and it's gonna save those to your camera roll. So now we're gonna minimize Yidget, and we're gonna open up Flex Widgets again. So now you can tap on the date one that we created, and we're gonna go ahead and tap on Image. So now you will notice there's a section for alignment, and there's a section called Use as Background. So you need to tap that and choose it, and then we're gonna click on select images. Then you're gonna tap the little add button and we will hit the correct image right there. Then we're just gonna choose it from the little thumbnail section right below and notice how it adds it to the background. Now you just hit save, minimize the app. Now the widget looks like it is transparent. So the final step here is to be able to move down my date widget and my icons here. 
So we want that to be at the bottom of the screen with some empty space in the middle. So this is the final step and I'm going to show you how to set this up right here. Okay. Now, finally, we're going to create the transparent space. So you've pretty much done all the work for it already without even knowing it. So we're just going to press and hold on an empty space on our screen and hit the plus icon in the top left hand corner again. Now we're going to go all the way down to the bottom until you find the Yidget icon. Now it doesn't say Yidget beside it. It's just got blank, no name there, but it's the yellow icon with the white squares and rectangles. So you're going to tap on that and swipe on over to medium widget. Then we're going to hit add widget and you notice how it added it to the top of your screen there. So we're just going to press and hold and drag that down to the middle position. And then we're just going to tap done. Now you'll notice that it potentially has the wrong image in there. So it doesn't look transparent yet. So you're going to press and hold on that widget space, hit edit widget. And then for position it says top, middle and bottom. So we're just going to go ahead and tap on middle. Now we're just going to tap anywhere outside of this box. And there you have it. It created a blank transparent widget space that does absolutely nothing. Now, if you tap in that space, it will open up the Yidget app, but it gives you the illusion that there's an empty space there. So trust me, I've never run into issues where I've tapped it accidentally and opened it up. So if you do want this whole minimal look where you can create empty space on your screen, that's what you're going to have to deal with. But trust me, that's how you get an awesome look like this. And I think it just looks absolutely fantastic and it helps you get this awesome minimal look to your phone. So there you have it. You can use these steps that I've outlined here today to just get creative and set up your iPhone screen to look however you want to. I hope you found this video useful. It would be awesome to see what you create using this tutorial. So if you want to go ahead and share your creations with me, share your home screens, send it over to me on Instagram or Twitter at Alex S. Perry. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button down below and drop me a comment letting me know what you thought. Also, while you're at it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right down there as well and hit that little bell notification icon to get notified every single time I drop new videos like this one. Trust me, there's lots more cool stuff coming your way, so you're going to want to stay tuned. Thanks again for watching. I'm Alex Perry, and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.